Hello everybody, Fixer here. I got Void and Meddler for you, developed by NoCVT and Black Muffin and published by Miklos Studio, who also published Out There not too long ago. And I think Out There Omega was the other one? Something like that. Anyways, so you'll notice that um, I'm starting with episode one again on this game. I already have recorded two episodes of a demo that um, was given to me by Miklos. Uh, before the game was released, and I have been told that the demo, or the new release, which is October 28th, which is today, is a little bit different. They've added a little bit of content and whatnot, and, and I probably should start over from the beginning. Um, I did not know that was going to be the case, but it is the case, so I'm starting over from the beginning to catch that new content. Anyways, if you did not watch the demo and you just want to know what the game is about, it is a point-and-click adventure set in a... Um, a universe not much unlike something you'd read in a William Gibson or Philip K. Dick novel. Think Blade Runner. Um, you're going to see very quickly a, a Blade Runner vibe, um, both in the setting and, and perhaps in, in the characters a little bit, where um, gender bending and species bending is common, I would say. Very strange game to say the least. Anyways, I am going to start a new game. We're going to hop right into it. Here we are! Finn lost her memory two years ago, and because fate's a bitch, nobody in town seems to even remember her. In time, Finn managed to reacquaint herself with an unfamiliar city, but this so-called life began to take its toll on her. And with each day that went by, corruption drove the city's soul further into darkness. I need to stop repeating the same old shit I'm doing week after week, month after month like this. I need answers, Finn thought. You're not going to get a classic noir um, narration from me, unfortunately. I wish I could provide it. I love the colors and the soundtrack for this game. She just wanted to feel whole again, even if it meant venturing deep into the city's dark underbelly. Memories. Memories that can rekindle even a trace of humanity. This is her quest, to stop living in the shadows. Who was she before? She might never know. Only the scars remain. She knows that it'll take some strong, clear memories to fill the black void in her heart. She's been thinking about this for months, and tonight is the night. Tonight, the city exudes its typically unbearable, putrid smell just more strongly than usual. Six distinct souvenirs, that's all she needs to fill the void inside her. But that's easy, you might think. After all, in recent years, our memories have become tangible items, easily to store and transfer. We now meet mem treat memories as mundane, everyday objects, though nobody can explain how or why. She just had to find those memories and regain, regain her will to live. And that's what she's seen so far. Has What she's seen so far hasn't exactly been very reassuring. About as reassuring as a shiver on a dead body. There are legends that tell us of memory so old and pure that no soul from this world can embrace them without being kicked from the system. Instantly banned. But whatever. This is what she needs, and she knows it. The voices in her head are too loud to be contradicted. As Elvis sang, let's rock everybody, let's rock. It's my best Elvis impersonation. You're not gonna get any better. This is an episodic game, by the way. This is only episode one of the series. I think there's three total episodes. The other two are not expected until 2016. So uh, be wary of that if you want to go out and grab the game yourself. Home Sweet Homicide and the Doom for Love and Feeling Evil. Yep, I've had a bad day, and now it's a bad moon rising. I'm a mess. This place is a mess. Two black holes bumping into each other. I need to rest or I'll explode. You'll notice some English issues here and there. Some improper um, tense of words and whatnot. I'm not sure why that is. Explode or implode, hungry and angry. Why would anybody want to continue living like this? Working hard all day long to pay the rent and have the right to sleep? Alright, first off, I should switch on the turntable. It's a guide to a lovely evening with Finn. Roll number one, lights off, and music on. We can do that.
Wonderful. Let's take a look at it. Someone stole all my records last week during my DJ set at Le Jeté. I went crazy and it ended quite badly. They probably don't want to see me around here for a while, but it's not like a cure, eh? Anyway, I left one of my records on a turntable last th that night, so lucky me. So like classic point-and-click adventure, you hover your mouse over objects, and it tells you a little... tells you what the objects are, and then you click on it and you get an option to... You know, I'm not exactly sure what these are, other than I think this is examine, touch, or perhaps grab talk to, and power on, or maybe action? I don't know. And then you get an inventory up here. Just like any point-and-click adventure, I would say. Alright, so let's go take a look at the fridge. So far, I haven't noticed anything different about the game. I'm starving, but this fridge is really stubborn and won't make me anything I like. Okay. It wouldn't fit in my bag. I tried to pick it up. Let's talk to it. Cold as a fridge. Power it on. Your quota for junk food has been exhausted. If you want to eat, order a balanced meal. Alright, well let's ignore that. This leopard skin sofa. I don't think it's a skin. Found this in the street. Thought it was free, but the guy running after me screaming, Stop this bitch! She stole my six grand, six thousand dollar fifties unpop art sofa. Made me change my mind. A good kick in the balls, and he quietened, quietened down. See what I mean? Now it's mine, and it's very comfortable. I'm not sure the former owner would appreciate all the cigarette burns I've made on his nice leather upholstery, though. It doesn't look leather. I don't know. Let's grab it. I think that's a good place for the sofa. Let's talk to it. Do I look like the kind of person who talks to their furniture? <gasps> yes, actually, you do. Alright, let's take a look at the pictures. Believe it or not, I took all those pictures with an old 20 megapixel digital camera. So vintage. Can I grab them? To find where they're on the wall. Yes, yes. Who's the guy in bed? Damn, it moved. That's too bad. I'm sure it's easier to get rid of a dead body than a human being. It's a question of aptitude, really. I guess it's just more of a dump the body in the river kind of person. I'm just more of a... I'd better leave it asleep for now and deal with it later. Talk to him. No, don't wake him. Right, right. So we got a pedal board down here. Let's take a look at it. My pedal board is part of me. Changing the texture of sound is like changing the texture of reality. Here's my favorite combo. The huge muff, meaning huge mess, as they say in the ad. The black cathedral verb, the DK delay, and the most valuable handmade subliminal control. I plug it into any kind of sound source and it lowers the pitch from 1 to 7 octaves. But actually, every speaker or amp I've used this device on literally blew up. I hope I find a sound system one day that's strong enough to handle so much distortion. That would be awesome. Can I grab it? Okay, I'll take the most beautiful one. There we go. Octaver. Uh, talk to it? Not really what I'd call entertaining. Who said I'd do whatever you ask? TV. Can't wait to watch the new Netflix show. Powered up. Talk to it. I'm afraid I don't understand ears language. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's power the turntable off. So, oh, we already did that. Sorry. Let's skip it. All right, let's go. Let's go look in the ba bathroom right here. Nice and bright. So, what do we got going down here? Pills. Let's take a look at the pills. Morphine pills, concentrated ser serotonin, and hormone substitutes, basically, courtesy of the doctor. Well, that's what he likes to be called, anyways. Let's grab those pills. I have need for that. No need for that. Talk to the pills. I started talking to pills so I could stop talking to objects. Yes, yes. I have to keep a clear head. See, I'm not sure why that, what that power button is. I don't know what it's interact with, I guess. I don't know. 
A shower. What could be more mundane? Use it. Okay, don't use it. Talk to it. Okay, don't talk to it. Turn it on. Oh, what just happened? I'm taking a shower. Now, although this wasn't in the demo, or if it was, I missed it. Achievement unlocked. Shower. Okay. Well, you know, never hurts to take a shower. Wonderful. Medicine cabinet. Let's take a look at it. All the stuff was already here when I moved in. A toothbrush, a vintage razor with rusty razor blades, and a rubber duck. I only used the last one. And I didn't even wash it. Let's grab the rubber duck. Bam. Rubber duck. You guys are jealous now, aren't you? What's over here? Toilet. Oh, yeah, the three, three seashells. Better leave it on automatic. After all this time, I still don't get how to flush how the flush works. Not the greatest idea of all time. In case you did not notice, the three seashells is a reference to Demolition Man. Yeah, sure. Hello, John. Do you like my ass? Does it smell good to you? Nice. Um, not in the mood to sit and push. Nice. Yeah, it's a reference to Demolition Man with um, Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes. You know the. 3C shell joke. Yuck, yuck. This game does have quite a few references to movies. Uh, we've already seen a couple of them. You're going to see a few more. Um, perhaps maybe too much. I, like I mentioned in my demo. I don't know if that's supposed to signify her type of personality. That she likes to quote movies. Or if they're just trying to... I don't know, be culturally, culturally significant. I don't know how it is. My head was in overload buzzing like high tension wires. I don't remember where those lines are from, but they were powerful enough to stay in my head no matter what. Anyway, all this mess makes me feel like home. That was these wires, by the way. Thought I could interact with that. Let's interact with this. I had a fight with my bandmates a few weeks ago. What a bunch of assholes. All I need is a new sampler and a few MIDI cables, and I'll show them that a girl can play and sing. Grab it. I have no time for that. Talk to it. I speak with it, not to it. Powered on. My neighbors won't like it. Um, I think that was it. Whoop, oh, oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Window. I knew there was something over here. I chose this apartment just for the view. Better you wouldn't better you wouldn't want to know how I managed to get it. Okay. What should I do with that? I don't know, talk to it. No way. Alright, fine. Alright, so um let's exit. I need a drink. Fuck it. I can't do anything on an empty stomach. Let's find out something to eat. Then let's go find some trouble. Yeah. And I love this this scene here, this setting. All right, this is my condo here. And we're going to go to the night owl over here. And there's people walking in the street. There's a guy in the rush. In restless dreams I walked alone. Then my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light. Which, you ought to know, is Simon and Garfunkel. We'll wake up Finton. Now is not the moment to get hit by a car. Well, not now, anyway. So, as you can see, there are references um, aplenty in this game. And I have yet to decide how I feel about that. I think I need to play more of the game to figure out why they're in the game. So, the Night Owl. My workplace. You know my motto, work all day, party all night, and sometimes sleep behind the counter, but let's not talk about that here. Jay's here tonight. He always covers me when I screw th things up at the shop. I think he has a little crush on me, but I know my lifestyle scares him. Outside of my working hours, I tend to avoid this place as much as possible. You know, ethical issues. So I'm not really aware of who hangs out here after dark. Anyway, it's open 24-7 and I've got my employee discount, but don't tell the boss. A five finger discount. Am I allowed to use the same jokes in the demo, or in this as I did in the demo? I wonder. The the mighty Finn honors us with their presence outside of working hours. Did you miss me that much? Yeah, don't even start, Jay. I just need something to eat. 
Is that supposed to be some kind of code? If it is, leave me out of it. Hey, shut up for a second, kid. I really need something to eat. I'm starving. Well, you know you're around the place. No need to be rude, honey. Oh, fuck off, Jay. I thought we had already been through this. We discussed it and we agreed. Stop it, Finn! I can't take it anymore! Oh, the actual gunshot is new. What? What is it? The fuck was that? The fuck was what, baby? Um, I thought you were gone. I chose this in the demo, so I'm gonna choose this now. I wanna see what it does. I thought you were gone. Gone? I've been right in front of you the whole time. Are you sure you're okay? Need anything? You know you can count on me, right? Yeah, don't worry. I'm just hungry. So, nothing much different. Jay and a stranger. There's an old TV up here. Let's take a look at it. Local news from the other side of the planet. A bomb has gone off and the journalist is saying not enough victims to keep talking about this. A march for peace. The journalist says, that's what I call a march for piss. Uh, no, that's too ugly. Hello? Do you hear me? There's a calendar. Let's look at the calendar. A calendar. Really basic stuff. You know, naked people, palm trees, houses on fire. Uh, grab it? Uh, no, that's too ugly. Okay. So I know there's a few objects over here we can take a look at. Cans, cans, and more cans. Most of them containing tomato soup. On the label it says, simply consume contents and dispose of can. Do not use this product as a weapon. Let's grab it. Those cans are going to stay right there. Talk to them. I'm not stupid. Interact with them. Good idea, but no. Plastic doll. Let's look at the plastic dolls. Vapid plastic doll. TM. Insert an emotion card sold separately and memories and you might get... To Get it to do whatever you want, as long as it's lying down somewhere, on a bed for example. It's our best-selling item, and the most expensive jackpot. They seem like fragile creatures. Regulars come two or three times a week to buy replacements. Ew. Grab it. Useless. Salutes, Poupe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, way. that right. I don't speak English. I'm sorry. I don't speak French. And I know Miklos Studio is a French studio, so I'm sure that's got something to do with it. So, anyways, once I learn English, maybe I can continue on here. There's a fridge here? I don't remember this being here last time. Vintage fridge. You can't even program it. You just put something in and it becomes fresher and fresher. Amazing, isn't it? Big Bob thought it, bought it at an antique store. Let's see. Alcoholic cola and alcohol-free vodka. What kind of world am I living in? There is, of course, way too expensive beers and, oh great, frozen hot dogs. My favorite food. You know my motto? Wait, no more mottos? Okay, you're the boss. Okay, I'll ask you if I can take that. It's frozen. Let's look at the pineapples. Pineapples, but the expiration date has passed. Not the best kind of advertisement, but I didn't see anything if you didn't. Eh, Jay. Talk to him. I won't speak to fruits. I don't want to. What else we got over here? Synthetic food. Bad sodas, bad pasta, lyophilized, lyophilized fish? I don't know what that word means. Various rotten meat ravioli, uh, phosphorescence, spaghetti... I'd rather have something fresh, if you know what I mean. Take it. I already chose what I wanted. Okay. Talk to it. Hello, pastas. How are you? Touch me with your noodly appendage. There's products down here. Let's do this. Household products. I could take it, but my stomach wouldn't stand for it. I don't need it. Alright, then there's some stuff over here. I love the gradual color change all the way over here to the yellow. I love these colors. Very cheap memories. We can find that sort of stuff everywhere since memories became tangible. It's not for me at all. Not strong enough. Not pure enough. 
Oh, whoa, I clicked off my screen. There we go. I missed some of that. The recipe is still secret. That's why my substance is hidden in souvenirs from different places around the world. Those artificial memories are only good for kids. Still not legal, but highly tolerated, you might say. Okay. Onward! Where's your customer, Jay? Oops. Shut up, Finn. Lovely. Let's talk to him. I've never seen that guy before. Do you know him? Uh, I'm not sure. He's the kind of guy who opens himself up on the... I'm not sure he's the kind of guy who opens himself up on the first date, but yeah, I think we can say he's a regular. That's something you'd know if you agree to work here a few nights a week, like Big Bob asked. He's quite old. I, I've heard a lot of things about him. He's old school, you know. No implants, no mutations, no hormones. People say he's got a sort of rare disease, like he's always understood our reality a bit too much. Some kind of hypersensitivity that's always made him see the darkest side of life. A natural-born misanthrope, I guess. The original misfit. That's already quite a lot of information for someone from someone who doesn't know him personally. And the weirdest thing is, the police caught him years ago for selling some strange drug that drove people crazy, called the Mystic Fever. Maybe you remember it. Anyway, he was cleared and no charges were brought against him. That's where it starts to get creepy. They never found anything on him because he was selling his own blood as a drug. Well, that's what people say anyway. But yeah, I can't even imagine what this guy has been through. Is that sad? I don't know. Rad? Rad? I admit it. He's your best friend. Okay, I'll take this. It's on the house. Uh, wait. You need to pay. Big Bob will be pissed as all fuck if he discovers something's missing. Well, no one's going to tell him, right, Jay? Employee theft. Alright. Well, I'm going to call that an episode. This is uh, Void and Meddler. It is out today on Steam. Go take a look at it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.